kind of thing. All right, so let's talk about the the, the lights as they are patched to, to the channels. So uh, where's channel one start? So uh, right now, all of the fixtures have an address and they are stacked in the console in order of their address. They were patched via remote device management. So it's kind of like auto patch. So channel one is not necessarily the left side of the catwalk okay. and it just runs sequentially it's not, left okay. to right. Um, they were auto patched for testing purposes and have been left there. If you want to tackle that today, we can do that today and get their addresses and get them lined out in the console the way, you know, in a more logical order, because that is totally a training step we can take. Um, that is probably not something you really want to videotape because it's not a short process. Right. Um, I, I, that, that wouldn't be in the contract documents that is listed on the on the lighting schematics. So that I, I don't consider that part of training. That would be okay. yeah. something where you're configuring it with the owner, which is what it says in the, right. the lighting so, page on the drawings. Yeah, so for the sake of like the videotape training and all of those things, all the fixtures are up, are all plugged in, they all have an address, they can all be controlled individually. They are not in a super logical order. All of the all of the catwalk lights were patched all at once, so it will be you know one to twenty five or whatever is all the catwalk. But as you step through one to twenty five, it'll be like that one, that one, that one, that one, that you know they'll be all over the place. And then the next group will be like the first electric. Yeah, and so the that, that will be something game. we'll want to do some time. <laughs> um, yeah, in order to train students, it'll be necessary. Um, we did talk before about the color matching. It seems like all of them were pretty close between the two fixtures up there, except for purple. It was distinctly, clearly a purple and a violet, like widely yeah. different between the red hue and the blue hue. Okay. Um, it's going to be hue, it's not white, but between the colors. Um, so how we could match those, I don't know that we need to match each one, because yeah. they're all going to be a little different. Would we make sure we cover that in the next portion or something? Yeah, sure they're, they're uh, as a note, their uses are different. I didn't get a great answer back from ETC one way or the other on why um, the color picker is letting you choose a color that a fixture can't do. Um, but you have two different families of fixtures up there and the wavelength of blue LED isn't the same between them. Uh -oh. So when you send, the console is supposed to compensate for that because the console knows which one is the standard version and which one's the deep blue version. So when you ask for 260 degrees of hue at 100% saturation, the console is supposed to know what to actually send to those fixture types to achieve right. that result. And uh, we noticed a slight color shift between the two. I don't think you would notice it as an end user because you probably would not grab both of those groups of fixtures at the same time yeah. and try and do the same thing with them. But it was something that we picked up in testing Specifically, with, like yeah. you, you see it off with all the colors a little, but you wouldn't notice it on stage. Purple, like if you put up purple right now, just let it all up purple, and you'll see. Yeah, you'll see where that's the only one that we saw the. Yeah, you, like it, it would it, interrupt it, the performance just, kind uh, of idea like, unless it was intentional. Just so you know what 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 we're talking about. And I'll see if I can't turn on the stage lights. I didn't want to. So um, that looks like. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything above 85 is a house light, but uh, for the sake of our... Uh, and would you want to make a magic plot? Because that's something else that I think... Some way to easily figure if that's something you don't normally use. I don't know. Yeah. You can uh, do those yourself, and you're going to switch the lights, I'm sure, but knowing how to do that if you were going to make one. Yeah, a magic sheet would be a good training step after, after. All, the, after all the fixtures get lined out in a you know left-to-right style fashion. Um, otherwise, you just have to do the magic sheet twice, which would be a colossal thing. I just wanted to make sure that um, that's something you wanted to talk about it and make sure you know how to do it today to, as you realize it. If you can see it kind of. But, uh, can you refresh my memory what a magic sheet is? That's where you have a map kind of, and it shows you the row one. It's got light one, two, three, oh, four, okay. five. Just and it shows you where the lights. So there's only two normal, there's four on the sides. Yeah. So then it would show you the like two on the sides, first row, and show you all the light, and you'd know which number is each one. So you can easily grab a light, and you know exactly which one it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly what uh, what hue that was between. Uh, I'm trying to turn the lights off, but it won't. 
Do they have a box down there? Uh, oh, the house lights? Yeah. Let's go over here to uh, house controls. Yeah. Oh, I missed the... See, that one might be... Pictures yes, it is. Uh, Would you help me if I showed you the picture? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I remember from. It from was clearly different. I mean, yes. It might be how many fixtures we have on. But it's hard to see. Yeah. Um. But it was it was really between the the psych electric, the psych fixtures, and everything else. Yeah. Um. Much fewer of the of the ones that were redder. Yeah. Um. And I don't remember specifically which hue out of the like thirty two million. <laughs> or whatever uh, uh, it was that really, um, that really brought that out. Um, but there was uh, there was definitely one. Maybe there's too many lights. Maybe it's fine if you have all the lights on. I think it was close to that. Point. Yeah, I mean it was in there somewhere, and I don't see it right this minute. Um, and that could be for. Any number of reasons. Remember what date we were here last time? Um, I'm going to take a guess at November 30th because that's the date on the show file. Um, but uh, well, you're... We, we had all the electrics in at the time as well, so some of it may have been proximity based, you know. When the fixture was just that close to the subject matter, you could really, really pick it out. And with them flown all the way out, they have enough time to blend and mix before they hit anything. You could clearly see the yeah. blue. Some of them were this color and some of them were this color. Wow. It was distinct. And you saw it from up here as well as me seeing it from down there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't, it, it, it was noticeable. Does that close mean, to that color. Does that have anything to do with the fact that the psych is blue? Well, the, it's the same psych in this picture as is still yeah, hanging, right. so um, I don't think it was, because all of that light was hitting the psych at the same time. Um, Do we have the, all the lights selected also? Uh, I think we have them all Sorry, selected. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm going uh, to double check, because that would be... Um, so like, you might have them grouped where we're not hitting half the ones. So well, I'm yeah, I'm going to scroll up here and check and see where, because I have through channel 85 selected. And uh, yeah, house lights, running lights, work lights. Yeah, so one to 85 is all of the stage fixtures um, that are. Uh, Sorry, I have to laugh because again, I was at Broad Run and it was like one to 30. <laughs> and they were all incandescent. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. Uh, what the outcome was, but there was a discrepancy between the number of fixtures ordered and the cabling ordered. So I think you have more than 85 fixtures in the air, but they're not all connected they're right not all now. Powered. Uh -huh. that, that was the thing we were going through. And I have no idea what the outcome of that was. I, I know everybody checked, and exactly what was ordered was what got delivered. And, and I don't know if anything else was going to come of that. And we thought the setup was, you know, those things were, were on the contract documents. Why are there only two on the sides instead of the standard four? You know, there's a lot of questions like that, that that's above our, I mean, I'm sure you know how. Yeah. And so. then, and then and so that means there's extra weight on the on the electrics already. So that if I took some of those off and hung a specialty light, it wouldn't really be a problem anyway. Well, 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 yeah, I mean, like, I think right now what made me, what reminded me of that is that there's only, like, uh... There's only three psych fixtures patched here. I think you have seven psych fixtures down there on the bar. Okay. So with a little bit of cable, all seven would work. What does that mean? Oh, that's just the, the auto label that was... Uh, I made some change to the patch for those, and because I only patched one, it put an auto label in there. Um, and, you know, when you do big range patches, it doesn't do that for whatever reason. I, I've never understood their, why they do, why they don't. Um, Just so you know, one of those light fixtures, the, there was an R, what he's talking about is there was an RFI written um, about how the lights were supposed to be tied to the uh, electric. 
And so they go from the electric directly to the light and they didn't want anything daisy chained. So you don't have any cables that allow you to daisy chain the lights. Whereas if you got those daisy chain cables, you would have been able to connect everything that's already up there. That's what it was. All right, so I'm going to need to purchase daisy chain cables eventually? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In, or, in order to plug find, those in. I mean, there's a yeah. crap ton there's of lights out there. So you, you yeah. can't yeah. find there's them. A, you just don't need There's two uh, breaker. Is it two or one? Well, it's, it's like every, I want to say every two, two and a half feet, two feet. So I mean, there's, a, so there's, there's a lot of light. I think it's two each one, so you can have a light here. Yeah, a light here. when we get down there, we'll, we'll, we'll bring them in, and, uh, yeah. and, and I'll just point them out to you. But uh, they are, uh, there's a lot of fixtures up there, and for some number of reasons uh they're not uh they're not all plugged in but some relatively cheap cable and they will all be up and running um in my experience on occasion uh you know the county steps in and it's like you know our bad we, we should have more money yeah it, 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 yeah it varies by the day yeah. like i know design and construction uh is gonna just say now, if that's what was in the documents, maybe facilities will step in and uh, and help you out. All right, some money here or there, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it, it's uh, it's maybe worth an ask to facilities and say, hey, I just got this building and not all the fixtures work, you know, um, because that is something that maybe they will help you with. Right. Uh, I don't think they're obligated to, but always worth an ask. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the cables are the same. I would expect that they are. Yes, they're, they're, they're. I'm talking about between here and Independence. You guys didn't do Independence, um, but I know we handed over a bunch of extra cables.